So this is um, a catalog that Bravis put together for, uh, it's actually Bravis's uh, Baltimore division, Star Home, Enter Star Home Entertainment that they put together. So heavy on the entertainment options, but I think does a good job of showing both the lifestyle in, in the setting and the products in an attractive way that looks better than the average cut sheet. Um, it's an 8-12 page brochure. Um, Bravis is here at the event and some of you will be meeting with them, I'm sure. Uh, this is Technology Design Associates and so I think this is the point and Ken has integrators doing a lot of the heavy lifting for him on this. This is another situation, technolo uh, Technology Design Associates, and they've worked with the folks at Control 4 and have a very nice uh, consumer facing brochure and they've done the pa packaging for the builder, right? So they've thought through a handful of packages, they deliver active benefits, they are more than a vanilla structured wiring system, but there are um, good asset bases out there from some of the vendors that can be delivered through the integrator partners. This is the control for side of things with technology design associates. So uh, Home Pro, I think Kendall's here somewhere in the audience. They're a Texas-based um, integrator. Uh, very much focused on high volume builders and um, they've added an electrical division uh, in the last five years or so and really are treating the electrical piece as part of the technology mix as well. And I, I like these little icons. I pulled them out of uh, something that Kendall showed me because they've got like quick hitter explanations of the benefits of a uh, kind of a module, a subsystem, and I think that's a, it's a clever way of marketing. And here's uh, some of the, of the uh, brochures that they've developed, digital and, and print brochures, where you uh, see the call out of the standard smart homes, two standards on the, uh, the leftmost cuts here. And then some of the clever packaging that they've done, I think, um, you know, you talked about yourself as a retailer, and I see some retail science in what's being done here. This is really clever. All, the, all of these offerings are priced at 1200 so it almost becomes a, becomes a game. You're looking at eight different offers, four of which are line voltage, four of which are low voltage, and you're like, which one's the best value for 1200 bucks? It's a really attractive price point. It's good retail science. Um, the, just some of the naming conventions, we talked about those uh, lifestyle uh, personae, but they're, they, they've built that into some of these packages, the entertainer, the networker, the peace of mind piece. So you could see the consumer centricity in the packaging here that they've done. This is uh, excerpts from a 31 page catalog. Um, I really like that there's pricing on all of this stuff. You were talking about the transparency of pricing and a lot of times you, you, you can't put the prices out there because you don't know what they're gonna be. But these guys have made it easy for their builder partners and some of the price points that they've put in place here are, are, are darn attractive, right? A, a projector-based home theater at 7,500 bucks mm. that's got the full surround package a uh, hundred inch screen it is pretty attractive. And the other piece about this is like, I think a lot of you uh, think twice about putting video in your offers, even though watching TV is one of the things that people do most at home, but the projector is really hard to shop, right? So a flat panel display is easy to shop. It's like, oh, I could get that at Best Buy for blah, blah, blah. But a projector and a screen and the installation it's, there's not a clear-cut shop on retail point of comparison there. So they've really cleverly thought through the product assortments, the pricing and the packaging, um, you know, having these upgrade offers for higher quality that are just incremental dollars spent. So um, 
I, I think Kendall gave me the okay to share more detail on this stuff if you all are interested. But I thought the, the marketing was extremely, was extremely clever here. And I think that's the message. This stuff is complicated to, to present. And if you can find an integrator, and they're not all capable of this, but if you could find an integrator that's got a clever marketing capability and has thought through some of the mes messages, they can carry a lot of the, uh, of the water for you. This is uh, our friends from um, NICE now, not just, not Nortec Control, it's NICE now in Elon, and they've done a great job of uh, helping their builder partners set their standards, develop these nested options, and then flow it into um, customized brochures, other visual marketing, merchandising assets for model homes and what have you, and digital assets as well. This is uh, their package that they put together with the MI Homes that we uh, talked about in Louisville. So, um, we do have um, a little bit of time for Q&A, which I'd like to go to before we talk about some to-dos. Who has questions for Mike, myself? We actually, we have time for you to present your level story. We have a couple of minutes for questions. Go ahead. Oops, somebody's, Nancy's running to you with a microphone. Don't. Don't turn an ankle. <laughs> Quick question for Ken. Hey, I was just wondering in terms of the integrator, how they're dealing with customers, is everything a la carte or are there some more of the packages like we were just reviewing? So, so we offered packages, which you know, I think are, are phenomenal. And, and you know, our price points moved up um, over the last few years. But as, as we got into you know, homes from, let's say, a half a million to 800,000, like for an example, who's the Sonos home? What is the Sonos home? Amazon home? By show of hands, nobody has technology in their home? I have Sonos. You're at the wrong conference. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Sonance, but I have Sonos. <laughs> so, um, what happens is when you, ha when you have a package, and, and Sometimes it's very effective and typically for ultra, ultra luxury homes, but your consumers are coming with products. And, and so then you're trying to adapt a package to a product and then it kind of rolls into a la carte. So when you look at our marketing collateral, it's really solution based, but the appointment changes depending on what the customer owns. And, and so that, that changes uh, you know, really the presentation of how we offer that technology through the integrator. Does that answer your question? Time for one more quick one. Go over there. At AE Ventures, we have a no sauntering policy that Nancy <laughs> and I have been trying to, she, she sets a great example. So I want to ask if you, if you guys have any insight or updated knowledge on this initiative called Matter. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. yeah. We know about it. I, Do we know when that's going to Can I be fruition? cynical for a second? <laughs> I, it's just been like 35 years of the plug and play standard to win all standards, and I'm just jaded. I, I'm sure that there's going to be some adoption of this, and major players are behind it, but it will probably be one of many standards that will continue to persist, I just, I, I think if you tried to do it 20 years ago and you had every big player behind it, you might have been able to iron it out as the standard, but we're just too far along and there's too many, I don't know how you feel, you're a manufacturer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're definitely working on the platform uh, to be able to adapt and uh, I think it really allows for um, easy connectivity across multiple platforms. Uh, so that's, you know, if you're looking at um, Bluetooth, Z-Wave, Zigbee, Wi-Fi, all different types of communication, uh, Matter allows um, a, a more uniform platform. And so it's definitely something that we're looking at to be able to prepare for. And I think a lot of manufacturers are because of that simplicity. Uh, so it, it's, 
I think you'll start to see manufacturers talk about it between six months and a year from now. Yeah, I think it'd be great. <laughs> you know, to, it's because it's tough, right? Uh, Amazon buys a company and then it becomes proprietary and Apple says, no, you can't use my platform. And, you know, and so it's tough when you're trying to put those components in the home and then have a relatively seamless solution. But it seems like there's multiple platforms in any home today that are running behind the scenes. All right, we're running out of time. We need to give Mike his time for a sponsor presentation. I'm just going to go quickly through these to-dos. Um, I think you, you should, if you, if you don't have an organizational approach to tech, make a decision and, you know, be explicit about that and, you know, have some uh, formal outputs and regularity of process and uh, outputs from them. Uh, the uh, have a structured merchandise planning process and make sure it's done on time to affect the marketing and the community as a whole. Uh, I think a message platform at some level at least is important in terms of getting overall lift and thinking through the marketing and sales assets you need for options. Whether in, that could be just like the integrator is going to carry all the water or it could be we're going to carry part of the water to be determined. Um, we didn't talk about analyzing results, but obviously that's a signature of all good business process. So how do you analyze? And well, just to interject on that, because Mike's slide, and, and you talked about it, but it's so critical. You know, we talk about friction in, in the buying process. We talk about pain points. Um, when we look at our own processes and systems, there's no pain points, right? They're perfect. <laughs> but when you listen to the consumer or your buyer or your customer, the story's a little bit different. And I think that's spot on is you have to listen to the friction that you're causing that consumer and fix those immediately. That, that's low-hanging fruit for most organizations. Okay, with that, let's, um, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go to Mike for your presentation. You're going to go to the podium, yeah, take sure. a position of authority? <laughs> Terrific. Well, I'm, I'm up here today to be able to, uh, I don't know, oh, there we go.